Nowhere in the world is the health of marine mammals more closely monitored than the UK, not by studying the living, but by examining the dead. These veterinary pathologists are hardened to grim sights, but even they were shocked by what they found in a whale, stranded and dying, on the Isle of Skye. So what we have here is the uh, stomach and uh, the beginning of the intestines for a male cubius beaked whale. Video exclusively given to Sky News reveals that in its stomach were 45 plastic bags or fragments, mistaken for food and now knotted together. Here you can see that the, the, the plastic has jam-packed into the intestine. This is the first time the scientists have laid out the plastic on the floor of their lab. A bin bag, so you can see the knot. It's household rubbish that's been carelessly disposed of, swept far out to sea and submerged well below the waves where beaked whales feed. For every single one of these pieces, it is possible that there would have been some form of human action that could have stopped that from getting into the marine environment. In Norway, scientists are investigating another whale that made headlines when it came into the shallows to die earlier this year. The same species, the same problem. Its stomach stuffed with plastic. The scientists counted 30 pieces in total. This time, ghostly writing on some of the bags gave away their origin. This is the remains of somebody's shopping, a wrapper from an ice cream, a bag that once contained a frozen chicken, and this, Packaging from a multi-pack of crisps, and I can tell from the writing that it's quite clearly from Britain, that it's been in the water as recently as 2015, and at the bottom, two important symbols. One, that it could have been recycled, and the other, that it should have been disposed of properly. It's a walker's wrapper. Its only purpose, to bundle together six bags of crisps. Do you think that's a necessary use of plastic? Uh, personally, I don't know. But of course, it's not only the producer here, it's, it's also us, the, the consumers. We also have to think about what we're doing here. The company declined to be interviewed, but it said it is considering changes to its packaging. Here they are. In the Canaries, scientists have a theory on why plastic is such a threat to some whales. They are coming to investigate the boat beautiful. We tracked down a family of beaked whales. At the surface, bags don't look much like food, but in the darkness a mile down, the whales hunt with sound waves and mistake plastic for their natural prey. We are killing animals with that plastic that will have lived a long life. And uh, an animal that can live 60 years to die as a youngster, maybe before it has reproduced, just because it has eaten some plastic, when it's something so easy to avoid. Plastic has built up along Norway's long coastline for many years. Rubbish swept on the ocean currents from as far away as the UK. But the death of the whale has inspired volunteers, backed by the government, to mount an extraordinary clean-up. It's just one country dealing with a global problem, but the harm to marine animals underlines the need to act. Thomas Moore, Sky News, Bergen.